I was a cleaner Georgina Rodriguez reveals shocking details of her life before Cristiano Ronaldo. Dear friends, welcome to my channel, I am Maya, hope your day is so well. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe the channel. From cleaner to icon, Cristiano Ronaldo's girlfriend was named in Forbes Hispana's 30 Under 30. Georgina Rodriguez has continued to stay in the headlines after gracing the cover of Forbes Hispana 30 Under 30 list. In a recent interview with Forbes Hispana, Georgina Rodriguez offered a candid glimpse into her life before she became the renowned partner of football superstar Cristiano Ronaldo, days after stealing the spotlight at the 2024 Venice Film Festival. I am very proud of my work and how I have managed my career, finding the balance between my professional, personal and family dedication. Georgina told Forbes in reference to what is her greatest achievement, having formed a great family with Cristiano Ronaldo. Reflecting on her humble beginnings, Rodriguez shared how she scaled through a challenging path to achieve her current success. Since I was a child, my dream was to be able to go to Madrid to study classical dance, although my life goal was always the Royal Ballet in London, she told Forbes. To support this dream, the Jacoborn native revealed she took on jobs as a cleaner and waitress at a hotel in Graz. Rodriguez recounted an experience that underscored her dedication to achieving her long-term goals. On one occasion, one weekend I returned to Jaca and a boy, in front of everyone, tried to ridicule me by asking out loud how my dancing career was going in Madrid. But then he added sarcastically, Oh no, sorry, you're dedicated to cleaning bathrooms in Graus, despite the mockery. Georgina maintained her pride in her efforts and remained steadfast in her ambition. Inside, I was very proud of the hardworking and thrifty person I was. I have never lived beyond my means just to pretend, the world's most followed football wag stated. Georgina Rodriguez's journey from those early days to her current status highlights a narrative of resilience and self-respect. Georgina Rodriguez set to return to the screen in season three of her Netflix docuseries. As Georgina Rodriguez continues to thrive in her professional and personal life, her story will be further explored in the third season of her Netflix docuseries, I Am Georgina. The new season promises to delve deeper into her evolution from her earlier life to her current achievements. This upcoming release is highly anticipated and will provide fans with an intimate look at her ongoing journey and life in the Middle East with Cristiano Ronaldo. The pair have been together since 2016, and many fans speculate that the wedding bells could soon be around the corner. It remains to be seen if Ronaldo and Georgina's wedding plans will be revealed in the upcoming release slated for September 18. Thomas Muller shares nine-word message for Cristiano Ronaldo after Portugal captain bags 900th career goal. Cristiano Ronaldo has broken yet another record, becoming the first player to score 900 career goals after netting for Portugal against Croatia on Thursday, September 5. Bayern Munich and Germany star Thomas Muller took to social media to praise Ronaldo's remarkable achievement. Despite being 39, the Portuguese icon continues to perform at an elite level, scoring his 131st goal for a Selecao in a UEFA Nations League clash. His teammate Diogo Dalot opened the scoring in the seventh minute. Cristiano Ronaldo was then in the right place at the right time to capitalize on Nuno Mendes' cross and double the lead. Although Croatia managed to pull one back through Dalot's own goal, Portugal secured all three points on the night. With this milestone, the Al Nasser superstar became the first male footballer to reach 900 goals. Social media was flooded with tributes, including a comment from Thomas Muller on Ronaldo's Instagram post, where he expressed his admiration. Ronaldo himself was visibly emotional after the goal, as he celebrated in front of Portugal fans at the Estadio do Sport Lisboa Stadium, Benfica. After their victory on the night, he opened up on the milestone he achieved. The five-time Ballon d'Or winner began his career at Sporting CP, where he scored five goals in 31 games, 
before moving to Manchester United. It was in England where he established himself as one of the greatest players of all time, netting 118 goals across competitions for United. Cristiano Ronaldo reached even greater heights after his move to Real Madrid, where he scored an astonishing 450 goals in 438 appearances. He became their all-time top scorer while winning numerous individual and team honors. During his early 30s, a stint at Juventus saw the Portuguese forward score 101 goals before making an emotional return to Manchester United in 2021. He added 27 more goals during his second spell. In the later stages of his career, Ronaldo moved to Al Nasser, where he continues to break records, having scored 68 times in just 74 appearances. He's also scored 131 goals for Portugal and is the top scorer in men's international football. Cristiano Ronaldo shares his ambition to reach 1,000 career goals. Cristiano Ronaldo is still going strong and has set a clear goal in mind, which is to reach 1,000 career goals. He certainly remains determined to achieve this milestone, while also putting any discussions of retirement on hold. After contributing to Portugal's victory over Croatia, Cristiano Ronaldo will face Scotland in their second Nations League match on Sunday, September 8. The forward will then return to the Al Nasser camp, where they are scheduled to play Al Ale on September 13. Piers Morgan called out Eric Ten Hag once again after Cristiano Ronaldo scored his 901st career goal. Piers Morgan poked fun at Eric Ten Hag after Cristiano Ronaldo scored against Scotland. Piers Morgan ruthlessly called out Eric Ten Hag following Cristiano Ronaldo's heroics for Portugal against Scotland. Ronaldo scored the 900th goal of his legendary career against Croatia last week, sparking a hugely emotional celebration and he came off the bench to record the 901st goal of his career against Scotland last night as he scored his side's winner to complete a stunning comeback. Manchester United captain Bruno Fernandes leveled proceedings before Ronaldo poked home from close range in the 88th minute. After the result, Morgan took to social media to mock Ten Hag's decision to sanction the sale of Ronaldo at Man United. He posted a picture of himself with the 39-year-old superstar, a company with the caption Eric Ten Hag drove Cristiano out of Manchester United and said he wouldn't lose any sleep over it. Methinks Eric may need an Ambien tonight. Ten Hag dropped Ronaldo from his squad before offloading the five-time Ballon d'Or winner to Al Nasser. He's been ultra-prolific in Saudi Arabia, having bagged 50 goals last season. He has netted four goals in four games this campaign. The forward is also lighting up the international stage, having scored in each of Portugal's Nations League games. Speaking after the match, Roberto Martinez hailed his star man's performance.